Josh Evans just came out with a video threatening to expose Colleen Ballinger, Shane Dawson, and Trisha Paytas. But before we jump into that topic, I want to read you this quick excerpt from my new book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. Unfortunately, I found out there's no honor or loyalty when it comes to many YouTuber relationships. When I started my channel, I started introducing myself to a lot of creators. I comment on their videos, DM them, and build connections. It was beneficial to have others who were trying to build a channel in my life. These were people I could talk to behind the scenes who understood the headache that is the YouTube algorithm and what it was like to get hate comments from strangers on the internet. In hindsight, I should have treated these more like work relationships, but I treated them like friendships. I had people warn me not to get too close to these people, and they were right. I was far too optimistic. These next chapters are going to discuss people I considered friends who left me high and dry when everything happened. This was the most painful part of the entire experience. Not only did I have people I thought were friends start making hate videos about me, but some completely disregarded everything they knew about me as a person and believed the narrative that was being spread about me. When I spoke to people in my life about how this was more painful than losing fans and subscribers, they reminded me that this was just business. They told me that if I were in their situation, I'd do the same thing. But I disagree. As you've learned, and we'll learn more about throughout the coming chapters, that's not how I operate. I stand up for what I feel is right, even when I think it might hurt my pocket. Maybe that's dumb of me, but part of my sobriety is making sure I live in a way that allows me to go to sleep at night with a clear conscience. I'd rather be broke and loyal than rich while knowing I wasn't there for people when they needed me the most. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also subscribe because I'm going to be following this story about Josh Evans and the new videos that are coming out. But before we get started, real quick, housekeeping my book canceled inside youtube cancel culture is free all right the pdf version is free okay it's going to be for a limited time until the end of the month there was some confusion about that so i'm going to extend the free version until the end of the month if you want to get your free copy get it down below i talk about cancel culture on youtube and mob mentality and the reason josh evans made this video has a lot to do with all of this stuff all right, so I'm gonna give you a quick little TLDR about the situation and his new video that just popped up. I just saw a lot of people talking about it on Twitter, even Matthew Santoro commented on this video. But anyways, Josh Evans is the ex of Colleen Ballinger. And there are some stories out there that Colleen, you know, cheated on him and everything like that. And we all know that Colleen is remarried and she has a child and everything. Well, anyways, Josh Evans, four months ago, he made a video that I highly recommend that you all check out. It's called I'm Struggling, right? He talks about struggling with anxiety and depression and how he thought that these mental health issues were things that you could just get over, right? But now that he's experiencing it, he understands, right? And it's been holding him back from creating content. And that happened four months ago. And he talks about just wanting to be there and help people and kind of get vulnerable and share his experience, you know what I mean? And it's a great video. And I actually watched that after I watched his new video. And it's really interesting to see that mindset change. But something that I, I learned myself personally, and I've seen a lot of others go through this as well, is that depression, that anxiety, can then turn into anger and resentment, right? And we are constantly looking for other things to remedy it. So in this new video, he talks about how he's going to be coming out with a series of videos kind of exposing everybody. Um, and he talks about, you know, he's gonna be talking about Colleen Ballinger, he's gonna be talking about Shane Dawson, he's gonna be talking about Trisha Paytas and everything like that. And he talks in the video about how like, you don't understand what it's like to have thousands of strangers telling you to kill yourself and that you're irrelevant and all these other things. 
And the purpose of this video is I wanna kind of help you get into his mindset because this is an experience that I've been through and one of the reasons why I wrote Canceled. So I wanna help you understand what he's going through, but I also wanna share some of my opinions as well as my experience on it as well. So what he's saying is that he has been protecting a lot of people um, who abandon him or don't care about him. And there's probably going to be more stuff that we learn. But dude, Josh, if you ever watch this, like I get it. I get it, man. So in my book, Cancelled, something that, you know, one of the reasons I, I, I wrote it, like I got inspired to write it was because nobody talks about this thing. Like when you, when you had the internet hate mob come after you, everybody just wants to kind of sweep it under the rug and just never talk about it again. Just don't talk about it or they might come after you again. I was like, you know what? Screw that. I'm gonna be the dude who talks about this. I'm gonna write an entire book and I'm gonna address it on YouTube as often as possible because this is a problem, all right? Like this dude and his wife split and people are telling him to kill himself. People are telling him he's irrelevant. People are telling him he's useless. Well, like this world has so many angry and miserable people that have no other outlet than to put it out online, right? A lot of them are from the comments, but we also live in a time where there's a lot of creators where they're so miserable that that's all they do too. They just try to tear people down, right? And so Josh, it seems, has finally got to this breaking point and he's tired of keeping quiet and protecting people who don't give a damn about him. And I get that because in my book, something I debated on for a long time was, do I want to write about the people I've never talked about publicly? And I finally came up with the answer and that answer was yes. So the way I live my life today, as much as possible, is I try to pause and check my motives. What are my motives? Why do I want to do this, right? Because we know one of the tricky things about mob mentality and cancel culture is if you're the one getting all that hate, right? Great example is James Charles and the Tati Westbrook situation. If you're the one getting all that hate and then you defend yourself, then the hate just goes the other way, right? Like the internet hate mob, they don't care who they get to hate, they just want to hate somebody, right? So as I'm writing this book, I'm like, okay, well, if I write about these other people, I don't want the audience to be like, oh, and judge these other people and go hate them, right? And go leave them nasty comments. Because listen, if you do that, like if you watch somebody get canceled and have the internet hate mob come after them, and then you go take that energy and you put it on someone else, you're not learning anything. And like, frankly, I don't want any of those people in my community, okay? So what I did, the decision I made was, I was gonna discuss it, but I was gonna leave people anonymous, which I, which I did. There was a few people I actually named by name, but those are just so public. Like, the people I left anonymous are ones that have just never, like, it never came up before. And while some people have figured it out, like, it hasn't become a huge deal, and I hope it doesn't. But again, I had to check my motives. What were my motives? So getting back to Josh Evans talking about, you know, exposing, Colleen Ballinger and Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas. I'm looking at this and I'm like, what is this dude's motives, right? And you watch his video and it's anger, right? And I get it, I get it. When people turn their back on you, like it's, it's part of our survival instincts, right? When people turn on us and they aren't there for us and everything like that, like we feel like we need to defend ourselves, especially when you have thousands of people coming at you and you're trying to be the bigger person and just let it slide. So then there comes this decision that someone like Josh has to make, someone like myself has to make is like, do I defend myself? Do I let these people off scot-free or do I defend myself, which may get them some hate? So while Josh and I both made this decision to discuss these things, Josh's is coming from a place of anger. And just purely my opinion, I don't think that's gonna work out very well. Because he, it seems, obviously I don't know Josh, I'm not inside his mind, I'll just let you know what it seems like to me. It seems like he wants other people to hurt as much as he's hurt, okay? And that's not something that I want. 
A great example of this is Slazo defending I'm Alex recently. Like a lot of us who go through this, we wouldn't wish this on our worst enemy, but when you watch Josh's video, it really feels like he wants other people to feel the pain that he has. And when we do that, we're coming from such a dark place. And we think that revenge is going to make us feel better. Like if you could just feel a little bit of the pain, I hope you're paying attention to this as well. Because I used to be a very vengeful person. And all it did, like maybe it gave me like this little like quick little, eh, little instant gratification, but then I felt like a dick, right? And I don't know, maybe Josh will change his mind, but I'll tell you this, like I said, I thought long and hard about what I was gonna, like if I was gonna talk about some behind the scenes stuff that I hadn't talked about publicly, some people I considered friends behind the scenes who just completely turned their back on me. But again, I checked my motives. I asked myself, do I want to write this to get these people back? Do I want them to get hate? Do I want them to feel my pain? And the answer was no, because I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I could have put their names in there, could have said it was these people, right? But I didn't. Because one of the purposes of my book was, like I said, nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about this. Nobody says like how this affects them. So you're gonna learn more about it as Josh releases more videos, if he does. But I wanted to have documentation, taking back my story, like kind of like Josh is doing, and I wanted to explain, this is what happens. This is what happens in this community when the hate mob comes for you. And like I read in that, um, that section of the chapter that's actually from the intro before I start talking about the people who turned on me, like I realized like there's no loyalty among YouTubers, none, all right? And it's not all of them. I have some friends that I've met who have stuck by me and I talk about them in the book as well, but many of these things are just business relationships. They're just business relationships. And if you're somebody like me, or it seems like, what Josh went through, it, it hurts because you thought you built up something more. You know what I mean? You thought that you were tight. And some of you might be able to relate. Like, if you, have you ever gone through a breakup and your friends just kind of side with the other person or something like that, right? So I think part of it for Josh might be that. You know what I mean? Just because it was a breakup. But I get what it's like to have people you thought were friends turn their back on you. And I'm sure a part of Josh, and this is something that I like, I, I, I didn't want to get into, but I'm sure part of Josh is like, I want everybody to know that this is not a good person. Look what they do. This is who they really are. You see who they are on YouTube, right? But I know who they really are, right? And like the vengeful part of me, like the old Chris, I wanted to do that in my book, but I didn't, okay? Like something that I, I learned very early on in my sobriety was, it's not my place to expose people. That's not like, I need, to, I need to heal me, right? And I learned a long time ago, like getting revenge and exposing other people, like that's not something that fulfills me and brings me joy. Now, don't get me wrong. I have defended myself in the past and I will, but something that I don't do and will never do, I don't release DMs. I keep people anonymous when I can. Sometimes people figure that stuff out, you know what I mean? But, like, that's the kind of balance. Like, for my own mental health, I have to share my stories, but I do everything in my power to try to protect that other person. You know what I mean? Like, but like, what Josh is talking about in that video is, is he's tired of protecting those people. And I was too, I knew that there was a small chance there's a small chance that people are gonna figure out who I'm talking about in the book, but for my own mental health, like I had to share that experience and I wanted to help others. I wanted people to understand this is what happens. There are so many kids, there are so many young people out there who aspire to be uh, uh, YouTubers or social media influencers or video game streamers, right? And I wanted to write the first book documenting what happens in this community when everybody turns on you. But I don't have to do that at the expense of others. So anyways, I'm talking a little bit longer <laughs> than I thought, but I will be following this story. And if, if you've made it to the end of this video and you really wanna get into the mindset and understand what this is like, 
go pick up a copy of Canceled. It's on my website, www.therewiredsoul.com. There's a free version. There's also an audio book and there's a $5 suggested ebook version. I'd appreciate it if you paid for it because your boy is broke. But, <laughs> but anyways, like check that out and just like start to understand. And I talk a lot about what we can do and just trying to be a little bit nicer and kinder without getting all like crazy tra -la, la and stuff like that. But it's brutal. And most people, most people out there are never going to understand what it's like to have hundreds of thousands of strangers just coming after you, you know? So if you want to understand it a little bit more, check out the book, tell a friend, whatever it is. But anyways, I hope the best for Josh. I will be following this story and see what we can learn from it. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And everybody who has purchased a copy of Cancelled or my other books like Rewire Your Anxiety or Rewire Your Anger, I appreciate you as well. You help me do what I love, which is coming out here and trying to give people a message of hope. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you next time.